Hey everyone, it's Roman. Just wanted to do a quick comparison video between these two RXs that I have in front of me. Um, we have these two cars in the showroom here at Lexus South Point in Edmonton. Uh, basically, the one on, uh, here we have here on the right side is the luxury package in copper crest with black interior. And on the left, we have ultra white uh, F Sport RX. Um, basically, just uh, want to do a quick comparison because, you know, knowing the price difference is next to nothing for the F-Sport and regular kind um, to give you guys an idea of what they look like and what the difference is. Um, essentially, starting with F-Sport, of course, we have the F-Sport badging. Um, everything is going to be blacked out on the car. So you have your blacked out mirror caps, um, your roof rails. Also, you're going to have a darker wheels. So this one is like a dark granite wheels um, and front and back bumper. And of course the interior. So you're gonna have different seats in the luxury package and F-Sport. Um, basically the, as you can see, the bumper is shaped like that. There's uh, no chrome on it whatsoever. So it looks very, very nice and sporty. Um, on the inside, we have the F-Sport interior. So we have a little bit more aggressive uh, seats. We have nice suede um, slash Alcantara on the doors. F-Sport badging on the inside here. Very nice aggressive seats. Looks very, very nice. Uh, black roof, roof line used to be a feature on F-Sports, but now a lot, a lot of RXs and more cars are um, have that standard, but essentially still Pretty, pretty nice. I'm a big fan of black roof line. It hides the stains, hides the, um, you know, dog hair and stuff like that. Very nice. Um, and also this one here we have as a luxury package. So you can tell right away from the front end that luxury package is much more casual, more executive style to it. You do have um, this kind of a gray finish on it not as aggressive kind of these nostrils here on the side compared to the f-sport and the whole bumper feels like it has a little bit more paint to it so it's not as blacked out both of them uh, we have 21 inch wheels except this one we have this design wheel um, everything here would be body painted so the mirrors will be body painted um, your roof rails are going to be just this kind of silver so it looks very, very classy. From the back, um, there is also a difference. A uh, few people say that luxury executive style is kind of too plain. I'm not sure if I agree. I think it looks very nice still, um, but not as highlighted as F-Sport. So we have kind of a sim simpler um, back bumper. Where on the F-Sport, we have this um, more aggressive back bumper with some kind of as essence of the as for design. I think it looks nice on both. I wouldn't say that I prefer one or another. Um, and great job by Lexus by painting these wheel arches on all the RXs. Definitely changes up the car because these are plastic. Um, so it is, it's a separate piece from your fender. On the luxury design, I'll show you guys the interior quick so you have an idea. We have more of a casual seat on the inside, more leather on the door, so no more no suede. The steering wheel also typically is, has these wood accents on it, which is on the kind of a portions of steering wheel. On F Sports, you'll have full leather steering wheel. And as you can see, the seat is kind of more relaxed, more laid back. Um, some people find it more comfortable, but I think with the new generation is not bad at all. And then we have wood trim on the uh, inside here. And on F-Sports, there would be like a dark prism, what we call finish on the dash. That's what it looks like in the back. And even on this one, even though it's not F-Sport, you still have nice black roof line. Very, very cool. But generally speaking, I hope this video gives you an idea of what the difference is between them. Um, whichever one you prefer. For Canadian market, I don't know about any other markets. 
For Canadian market, you can get 350H only in the classic luxury style. You cannot get an F-Sport. The only hybrid to get for Canadian market that's F-Sport would be RX 500H, which would be the most powerful RX ever made uh, with 367 horsepower. But uh, basically both of these are gas that we have. So if you're just looking for a gas engine, no hybrid system, um, that would be your decision to make which one to go with. And um, essentially that's pretty much all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the cars. I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.